Right, hello trail trackers. I'm out again just to prove I am actually out. There you go. There's the, there's the floor. We'll walk along a bit and I'll show you what I am actually going to be looking at. So let's get this rotated around a little bit. Okay, so first initial thoughts, not a full review. The full review will be up eventually. In fact, let me put a beam on so I can see where the hell I'm going. That's a bit better. Um, so this is the Oath Keeper. And as you can see, it does have a side switch with illumination, but you can turn that off because it's a bit of a tactical thing. It's kind of a long tactical throw. It does have a nice ring here, which helps you holster it. But the, um, the version I don't have has a large ring. Some people call that a tactical ring or um, an assault ring, all sorts of daft things like that. Um, technically, you may be able to use that as an offensive weapon. Therefore, I, ha I specifically said the company take that off because I live in the UK and the Border Force would probably confiscate it. So I didn't want to take the chances, so I had that removed. So just be aware, it does come with a ring. So make sure to uh, check your local laws to make sure you're not causing any problems there. So quite interesting looking. I'm, I'm not so happy with the clip. I mean, that, for the size of light, that's tiny, isn't it? I would expect something a little bit bigger. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be reversible, but you know. And it's by, now I don't know whether it's a Brin, Brinit or Brent, Brent, I'm just calling, gonna call them Brint, because it's easy. So quite nice looking, I like the color. I think you can get this in black. This is like a sort of greeny, sand, sandy color. I like it. Side switch, and it does have magnetic charging, which is very good. Um, you can't hear stand, obviously, because it does have this multifunction set here. And you can take this off, and I have seen a remote switch, so if you want to wet mount this. Um, I suppose wet mount, it's kind of heavy. I don't know what weapon I'd, you know, if you had something like a G36 or something, or a really light AR. You could justify the weight, but it's quite weighty. I wouldn't want to be holding that in imminent targets for any length of time, but it's there if you want it. So uh, what we'll do is we'll turn this out, turn that out, and we'll show you what it looks like. Now, what you do is, boom, so there's the lowest level. It's about, I think it's about 10 lumens. I'll show you my feet here. Hopefully you can see this decently. I'm recording in 4K, HDR, 10-bit colour, and trying to get the maximum for you. So that's the lowest. Now, stretching out, you can't see a damn thing, can you? So that's the lowest. And the next level up, I think, is 45 lumens or something like that. Um, this is very early stages, so I haven't memorised everything off the top of my head yet. Let's pull around a bit. You can't really see a bit much, can you? There's a little bit of push out there. It's using the XPH um, 30 emitter. Now, I've got an Olay M2T Warrior with, with the 30 emitter which puts out around 1,200 lumens, well, quoted by Olight anyway, whereas this, this is quoting 2,000, so I don't know how they're getting more. Uh, I apologise for any wind noise. I am entering a windy area here, apologies. And I will be doing uh, strobe in a moment, so you have been warned. In fact, we'll come back this way because I don't want the wind to ruin what I'm seeing. We'll go back this way a little bit. Okay, so in the next one, I think that's about 450, 450 lumens. Now, the main problem is if you're gonna use this for hiking, it's, it's, it's a thrower, it's got a smooth, a smooth ball there look see the peripheral very tight beam although because it's not one of the old xph highs um you see the central spot in fact we'll put it on the ground you see that central hot spot you do get that fat chunky throw so if you if you don't know what i'm talking about there is on the old xph's um you've got about a thousand ish lumens and you never you didn't really get that fat um sort of spot in the middle and um, you get that on the 30s and the 50.2s the 70.2s and so on um, to, you know you can mitigate that with the the um however you're pushing the light out but you know um so pretty decent it looks quite white to me um i'm not sure on the tint yet but i will test that and then the next level up just pressing the second multifunction button not the main one boom so that's maximum so they're claiming 2000 that looks quite white to me especially in when i compare it with the uh, lumen top in fact i'll show you some other lights in a moment i'm just trying to get out the wind here i like it so far um i'll put this on so you can see how i'm holding it so i'm holding it like that now normally this thing will be through a ring this attack ring thing but i kind of put this on and there's a good side beam shot so you can see it's got quite a good throw on it. And if I, if I aim it up into the sky, we'll see if there's any spill on that. So you can see the spot. And you can see to the left and the right a bit. It's hard to see there. There's a bit of spill there. Uh, but that fat, chunky throw. I'm quite impressed with it. It does a decent job. And it's, it, you know, in the middle, that's very usable. But I wish it was a little bit wider for hiking. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to mark it down for that because that's not its intended purpose. I would say this is like a bit of a, a tactical... Uh, thrower um, and you know you can disable this button 
which shows you your battery level and things like that. So if you're in a tactical situation, you can make adjustments to that. Um, you can use that to change the levels, look, you see? So you've got lowest and the next one up, next one up, next one up. So you can use that or you use, what I'm doing is, I'll show you. So you've got it on and then I'm using this button here. So boom, 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 boom. There's your four modes. You do have strobe, so if this is off, strobe warning coming up, strobe warning coming up, okay? Strobe's coming up. So if I just press this from off, watch, straight to strobe. Now, if I hold that down, you'll see it's strobe coming up. See that? Now, interestingly, it's a usable, th a lot of these strobes are too fast. Now, this one does two, so watch, it goes quite rapid, then a slower strobe, then back rapid again. That is more disorientating. I'm, I'm happy to see that. that I, would, I would argue that's a pretty useful one, and you can't get straight to it. So pretty decent. Um, you can just do momentary like that, a momentary flash, and you can do the same if, if you hold this watch. You can get momentary. How do you do it? Get there, see? And then, but I didn't click it, you see, but we can click it for on. So we're pretty impressed. Now what I'll do is, I'll show you some other lights so you can calibrate what it is that you're seeing, just so you understand, and then we'll go back to that light. I'll try and keep this rapid. Now it's using an 18650 mag charging. If you wanted something a bit more beefy, um, using the um, XPH uh, 70, the Cree 70 emitter. You've got the Ace Beam E70 here. I bought this, love it. So we'll turn it on. There's its low mode and watch. Bang, what a whopper. Look at that. So much better tint on this, I would argue, although it's not the end of the world. You know, sometimes you want a nice bright light, especially for strobe and things like that. Um, but very, very usable light. So if I'm hiking, this is very usable very wide you see uh, but to be fair this is using a orange peel reflector whereas the p18 pro from brint or whatever you call them uh, oh you see that mouse there see its eyes I just saw a mouse um sorry uh, wee guy what are you doing nah he's gone there he is he's away um i saw it then this obviously gets a lot hotter and uses a 21700 cell but if you just want something with a bit more brute force this is going to do it so turn that off and we'll put that in the pocket then I'll show you another one which I'm testing against it. This is the Convoy C8 Plus. You should get around 1100 lumens, or it, it depends on what cell you're using, but around 1000 lumens. So very tight though, you see, much, much more of a, a dedicated throw. You see that tight throw in the middle, that blue beam there. So that's really pushing out. But again, because it's a dedicated thrower, peripheral vision is poor for hiking. Look, see, left and right. So it, it's, it's doing a specific job. I wouldn't necessarily want to go walking with this. Although you can look, it's wide enough where you can walk along. You know, you can do it. And you've got different modes, so, you know, it can be done. But dedicated, dedicated so you can see that tight beam there in the middle. So it's trying to push that. Uh, and it's about around half the output of the uh, Oath Keeper, the P18. So nice to show you that there. So I'll show you another one. So the other one I'm testing it against is the classic. The GT Mini, here it is, GT Mini from Lumentop. There you go. It's got the side switch, no tail, but you can't tail stand if you want. So turn that on and then boom, turbo. Now look at the tint difference. This is a much more, new, um, well, I would call neutral tint anyway. It's more closer to sunlight. So now if you bear with me a few seconds, I can feel something hot in my pocket. So as usual, see, look, as usual, that was going off in my pocket. So we'll turn that off and disengage the, the tail cap a bit. Turn that off. There you go. There, right. Maybe I can get along without a burnt leg this time. So back to the light I'm supposed to be showing you here. So again, dedicated throw. You see that tight beam? This is actually slightly better than the C8 by Convoy. More expensive though. And maybe it's, maybe it's a tiny bit more. I mean, it might be the tint that allows us to, to travel further, but it certainly does travel a long way. But again, dedicated thrower. So it's got a smooth reflector and a large, a, quite a large head like the um, Oath Keeper. Uh, but decent, um, I've never had any problems with mine, so turn that off. Show you another. So here is the Olight M2T Warrior. Now this is using the same emitter, the 30, which is the same. Now you, you only get about 1200 lumens to, from this, which is weird. Um, but look, it's orange peel reflector, smaller orange peel reflector. But look, you're getting a much more usable beam if you were go hiking or something like that. But if you want to stretch this out, I would suggest that the Oath Keeper will stretch further. Um, and I'll probably demonstrate that in the beam shots which I'll take. But it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Um, quite a white beam, but that's kind of an O-light thing. I know they get a lot of hate. Oh, you don't get the tints yet. True. Okay, fair enough. But they are quite reliable. Uh, but pretty nice. And it's, it's also tactical. It's got the tactical switch, which you can do from any angle. It's like the mushy type. Quite strange. 
um, and you can set that up with the side switch. It does have a side switch. See it there? And you can use that feature. And it's got battery levels and all sorts of things like that. And uh, the last one I wanted to show you, which I tested against, was the old Jet Beam. I think this is around a thousand ish lumens. Um, there you go. The Jet Beam IIM TAC. Um, it's got, it, it is a tactical one because you can set it for momentary, you can lock it with the tail cap, you can turn it on in one click and all sorts of things like that. So let's have a quick look at that. As you can see again, more of a dedicated thrower. Well, let's have a look. It looks to me like a smooth reflector there. So very tacticalized um, or tactical, some people would argue if you're not really in the army. Um, but you know, I, I think these things do have a place. Let's spin around here. In fact, let's go down the river. I can keep out of the, uh, and we'll have a look at the beams, and then I'll go back to the uh, V18 Pro. Okay, so you can walk by this. That's not bad width, actually. It's one of the better ones, um, even though it does have quite a deep bezel. So we'll go back to the P18, if I can find it without burning myself. Let's have a look. There it is. And I'll leave you in peace. So we'll put that on turbo. Boom, there you go. So there it is on turbo and we'll see if it stretches down this river or not. So a good throw on this, good light, um, quite a white tint as you can see, but it's got that fat chunky um, throw section, which is nice. And then we'll have a look down in the river here. And the beam isn't quite as apparent as those other lights, isn't it? In fact, if I hold it, look, it is when I do that, I'm making it apparent. You know, like a lightsaber, you know, I'm your father Luke and all of that malarkey. But um, it, when you hold it back to where they were, it seems less apparent. Uh, even though it's quite a white tint, but it does a good job. So we'll turn around a bit, see what else we can see. Pretty decent. Anyway, I'll, I'll leave everyone to it because I don't want to go, you know, annoying people too much. Like I say, 2000 ish lumens using the XHP 30 by Cree. Very good. Um, quite impressed with it. It's definitely a tactical light, especially when you use the ring. It's got mag charging. Very impressed with it so far. I don't know how to pronounce the name, I think it's Brint. Um, so apologies if I'm mispronouncing that. It's not on purpose. I'm not trying to be funny or anything like that. Um, but I'm going to continue doing some hikes and testing. But so far, I like it. Um, it's something different, and because I, I get sick of looking at the same sort of things, it's something different. Let's have a look in these trees here. It doesn't seem to step down either. I think it's got automatic temperature regulation, but I will look into that. Um, but very impressed with it so far. Something different, something interesting. Um, I'm going to enjoy having... Uh, I, I must do some range tests on this, actually. Uh, and we'll have a look. So like I say, all the other lights are compared with were 18650 lithium ions, apart from the ASBM E70, which was a 21700, but same battery chemistry. Uh, and in orange peel reflector, boys, this is smooth. Very interesting. Right, I've waffled on long enough, so sorry. Uh, and thank you to all the uh, regular people who follow the channel. I'm getting quite a lot of traction at the minute. Um, so thank you very much um, and keep putting your comments in because they're, they're a good laugh and I, I really do try my best to keep up with them but I do get thousands so if I haven't replied it's not because I'm rude I just kind of keep up so sorry about that right I'm off good night